is Zona. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're back with girl groups, and I'm so excited because we're gonna listen to four different groups, and it's also among the most requested from the past videos. So I'm again trying to do an overall mix of groups and see which ones I want to focus more on in the future. So let's see. First one we have Stacy, which was one of the most requested. You told me that it's very similar to my style and the vibe that I like. So let's see. Okay, Stacy, stereotype three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. You were right. This totally sounds like my stuff. <laughs> Now, wait, I just want to say, like, what I was thinking, like, since the name is stereotype, they're saying, like, okay, I'm getting red, I'm getting all pretty, but actually, it's not, like, even if I'm pretty, I'm not, like, the most confident and not how you see me, so maybe take off your tinted glasses and see me for the real me and not how you perceive me, I think. I think this is what they're saying, I'm not sure, but okay. <laughs> I think you know me better than I know myself. This is oh so much me. This is literally me. I generally really liked the lyrics of the song because it's as if like everybody who wears makeup and um, takes care of themselves, they necessarily have to be like trying to seduce you or, or maybe necessarily have to be confident and so on. Like I think it's like maybe like a misconception uh, about people who take care of themselves. Like many times, like also to me, it happened that when I get ready to go to class and maybe the teacher will say, oh, 
oh, where do you have to go to a fashion show? This is not the place to look for boys and so on. And what is the point of telling me that? Like, what does it have to do with my makeup and my getting ready? It's not that I do it for seducing other people. Like, it's... Ah! So yeah, either way, I love the concept. I love the lyrics. I love it. I loved it. I love this group. Next, we have NMIX Love Me Like That. No, love me like this, sorry. <laughs> love me like this. And this was, and mix was very requested. There was also another song called the Sonar, Sonar, I think, which was very requested, but I ended up choosing this one. So, okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Like this, love me like that, love me like this, and I love it right back. Oh my god, oh yeah. 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 Oh my god, oh I really like the start, especially some, but I don't like the chorus. I think it's ah, it's because I think it's really because I just like melodical stuff. So when it's just like talking kind of chorus or part, I don't, I just can't find it with it. I'm sorry. Like, I love the rhythm that it has, it's, ah, but I, no, I, I don't like when it's just like taught chorus or something, it's really not my thing. For them to go so high up, like I could never. I just have to say that I loved whoever styled them. Like the clothes that I have in the videos, it in the video are so good. I was focusing on, I was like hyper focusing on the clothes for some reason. It just looks amazing to me. As for the lyrics, I think I guess it's mostly about 
like asking somebody to show their true feelings for them and kind of i think wait yeah i think it's just like being clear about what you need in a relationship or friendship whatever just like communicating well i guess there is nothing much to it i think yeah but overall like i really liked the beginning i was so like damn i love it but then I, I i don't think it's exactly my style but i did really like the rhythm and the outfits oh my god so good but yeah next we have g friend mago generally the group was not requested that much but this song specifically was very requested so i was very curious to listen to it g friend mago three two one go Oh, let me just fix the quality because it's, like I'm just scared it's gonna not load well and it's gonna stop in the middle of the video because I don't have Wi-Fi at home. I just use my phone's internet, so I, <laughs> I hope. Okay. I just want to say she's so pretty oh my gosh I love her face I love her face and from the start I like the vibe a lot <laughs> I adore this and I love her. Oh my god, what is her name? Please, somebody tell me. I don't know why I feel so drawn to her. to see the pole dance uh, girl not because I don't like it I love seeing pole dancers I'm what I mean is that I didn't expect from a k-pop music video uh, a pole dancer <laughs> I feel like in k-pop it's so much more taboo to show certain things even like slightly more sexual I don't know how to explain so I'm, I'm just surprised but yeah I love it let's go on
my god, I love this. I also love the like retro disco vibes in the 70s, whatever. It's oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know, they give you a bit the vibes of like Dancing Queen from ABBA. Not the song itself, but just the vibes. I don't know. I love this. This was amazing. I don't know anything about this group. You just told me specifically this song that I would like it and you were so right. I love it. Also, I remember that you told me that this group is disbanding. That's very sad. Like, I definitely want to hear more of them because I love this song. And if they make this kind of music, mwah, that would be very sad. Okay, well, this song definitely 10 out of I will listen to this literally every day. Okay, now next we have Mamamoo Starry Night. Now, this is another group that was super requested. There were many songs that you told me to listen to, and I chose one of the most requested ones. Three, two, one. Wait, is the album not working? Oh, is my album not working? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, I have already some things I want to say. First, the video doesn't feel like a K-pop video. Like, it feels more Western, maybe? Her voice... Oh my god. Her voice sounds like honey. But as soon as I heard it, I thought of honey. I just didn't want to pause because I was it's amazing they look like adults I don't know how old are the other uh, groups that I've seen uh, but they look much more like grown-ups like mature women and I just really liked seeing this type of like uh, mature vibe from them I don't know how to explain it no I oh my god I literally got chills while listening to this first minute and a half i got chills i swear to god <laughs> Yeah, we've been
I fell in love. Like, oh my god, where is she? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. She looks so pretty to me. She's like, wow. <laughs> It's a literal honey. I there is no other way to describe her voice to me. She is honey to me. Like oh my god. Like the video itself, it almost looked like a National Geographic video. I don't know. It was this one looked so clean. Apart from color correction, I didn't notice anything else that was added and the like the starry sky, but oh my god, I love this group. I wow, I I need to hear more, I need to hear more, yeah. Also, another thing that I want to say about this song is that it felt a bit like a melancholy... Like, it didn't feel like a happy song. It didn't feel like a that relaxing song. There was something melancholic about it, so I'm not sure. Even from... It's as if they don't want somebody in their life. I guess it could be a partner or something. Same routine repeats every day. It's kind of as if like with this person, it's like they're stuck in a situation with this person there is no improvement or anything so they are just waiting for it but i think that's why it's uh, it's a bit non-conic i don't and i want to check out more from mama Moo, definitely this is it for today and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the recommendations and i will definitely come back soon maybe focusing on some specific groups so i can have a, a better overview and stuff so okay thank you bye guys